All right, so we're gonna use the ultrasonic sensor and I've attached mine to the front of my brick as you can see here. There's an interesting tool or helpful tool on the NXT. It'll let you read from a sensor without writing a program. So you go to view and then you go through the list and you find the one for your sensor. So I'm looking for uh, the distance or sonar sensor and they have it in inches or centimeters. I'm going to look at centimeters. Choose the port that it's plugged into and the ultrasonic sensor says that it's currently six centimeters now eight, nine, ten as I lift it above the table. So keep those numbers in mind and we're going to use this in a program. The program we're going to do is have the robot drive forward find the edge of a table with the ultrasonic sensor and then back up because we don't want to keep driving otherwise we'll fall off the table. First step before we start programming we should go ahead and set up our motors and sensors in the uh, motors and sensors setup. Uh, motor A I'm not using so I'm just going to put no motor and then motor B is my right motor motor C is my left motor. sensors and I have an ultrasonic sensor plugged into uh, port 1. I'm going to call that the edge finder and that's a sonar or ultrasonic sensor. Save it and you'll see that the setup put code at the top that we don't need to change or touch and it has the names for the ultrasonic sensor and for the motors. All right, let's start writing our code. So for the drive forward part, again, we've done this a bunch of times already. I'm going to synchronize my drive motors. And I need to set the turn ratio. I'm going to use 100. I want the B and C motors to be the same. So C is 100% of B. And then finally, I'm going to turn on my motor B. Uh, and actually, I think not instead of a power of 100, I'm thinking I'm going to use a power of 50. I don't need to be driving that fast towards the edge of the table. Now, I called it motor B, but if you remember, at the top, we also gave motor B the name right motor. So you can use either motor B or right motor as its name, and it'll still work. The code for backing up should also be easy. Just going to give motor B or the right motor uh, a power of negative 50 negative so that it goes backwards. Then I'm going to wait for a second and then turn that motor off. Now we need to write the part where we check to see if we're coming to the edge of the table. And we don't check once, we check many times over and over. So we're going to need a loop and it has to be a while loop because we don't know how many times specifically to check. So we're going to keep checking over and over. Inside the curly braces, we're not going to do anything because all we want to do is check over and over. So let's go to the function library and instead of motors, we're looking for sensors. And we want to find the sensor value. We want to get the value back from the sensor saying how far above something are we. So remember you can double click, get help if you ever forget. And here you can see they have a description along with some example code. It says that the return value can be 0 to 255 and this number is a reading in centimeters okay and then they have a nice little example for you to check out as well so we want to check the sensor value in the while loop over and over. So put it in the parentheses, give it the name, you can either put S1 or edge finder of the 
ultrasonic sensor. And we need to test it. And I'm going to say less than 10 because that means that we're still on the table. We're seeing the top of the table. Anything more than that means that we're probably at the edge. That's it. We're waiting, checking that sensor. Finally test it out. 